Perfect. Let's finish this section of chapter 7 with the topic of chain reactions. Probably you've heard it before. Chain reactions are reactions that are series. You need the first one and then the second one and the second one goes to the third and so on. The thing about chain reactions consists essentially on the initiation part. For example, if you do a spark, it's going to explode. And then that triggers a lot of other reactions. What other reactions? That the propagation, once you start the first reaction, all other reactions that goes from here are called propagation. And eventually they go to a final reaction which is called termination. So I would say one reaction, many reactions, the finished reaction. As the name implies, it starts with one reaction, initiation, follows series of reaction, propagation, and then finishes or terminates. Here's an example. The initiation, we have chlorine 2. This is going to break down into chloro here, two, one, uh, two molecules of that. And then the propagation is essentially, this is going to attack this one, and you're going to have this. And then this guy here goes here. And once again, this goes with this guy here. It's going to react, form this, and you form a chloro electron here or chloro ion here and it will start once again so it's a cycle let me actually look look how it's a cycle you start with this one and you finish with this one so you start you start all over then finish and start all over finish and then start again reaction you start again etc until the termination comes eventually this chloro is going to attach this molecule here and everyone is happy you have you are done we've also got this one this is going to break you got A and B A is going to attack this one which is AC and D is left alone but what happens with D? D is going to attack this one and you have D and E and F, what up with F? probably it's going to another one that's why they're going to tell you it's etc because they're going to attack another one, you cannot see it, but eventually the termination is this one with this one, get all together and it's done and you are finished. Let's see a little bit more on the initiation. Here's where you form the active intermediate. An example, let's take the example of ethane that goes into butane. So of course you need to balance it, but anyways, let's do it with this equation. You got C2H6 and two molecules of this broken, or yeah, this molecule. Then comes propagation. Propagation is essentially a chain transfer, is the interaction of an active intermediate with the reactant or product. So etc. This cycle. You start with one reactant, then comes that product, and the product comes back, and etc. The free radicals interact with other molecules. So you got this free radical, goes with the first molecule and you react one methane but you get another free radical this other free radical is going to attack one uh, ethane molecule and then you're left with hydrogen radical this hydrogen radical is going to attack the ethane molecule and you're going to form this molecule and you have hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas is now escaping and you start all over here, actually it's here until you get into termination, which is the deactivation of the active intermediate to form products. So here it is. You have it here. You need two moles, of course, because then you will not have stoichiometric relationships. But the important thing is that you form C4H10 at the ending. So just a little bit, let's say, um, the general equation will be two molecules of ethane form this guy here and of course hydrogen gas is going away so you have 12 molecules of hydrogen yes you have four molecules of carbon yes it's balanced how does that happen actually this one is here the hydrogen I told you before and my final product these all guys aren't producing actually they are like circling in this cycle of production but you were to analyze only these and these and these are being produced. 
And I know guys, sorry about no showing exercises. This is just an overview. So you really want to go check out my webpage, go to courses, you'll find the reactor engineering course. Go directly to the CH7 or chapter 7, which is mechanism of pathways. We're right now in mechanisms. And once again, this is an overview, so don't expect that much or that deep of uh, materials. It's only an overview, so you understand it. And that was section number one. We're going to finish section number two and also the chapter in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.